while it might seem a little counterintuitive to develop an analysis services data model using an existing analysis services data model as the source of information, sometimes it might make a lot of sense. For example, we may have a cube in analysis services that has a lot of advanced calculations and complex things that we don't necessarily want to repeat in our new model, but we do want to mash that up with maybe some data market feeds or text files or, or just uh, some additional relational sources that aren't already represented in that existing cube. So let's take a look at how to do that and just uh, to set it up we have in this uh, server lab SQL 1 we have a relational SQL database that we've been using occasionally in these uh, lessons. We also have our uh, tabular analysis services instance that's where we've been deploying this new model and we have a multi-dimensional instance of analysis services that has some existing cubes. So what we're going to do in this lesson is pull in some metrics from this existing cube into the new model that we're building. We can do this either in Power Pivot for Excel or in SQL Data Tools. We'll use SQL Data Tools this time. And again, we have our very simple model with one date table or date dimension. So to import this first, I'll go uh, into the model menu and click on import from source and I'll skip past the relational sources and I have my single multi-dimensional source analysis services so this is going to be an MDX query which an MDX query can be used against a multi-dimensional or a tabular instance of analysis services so either one would be fine I could even execute this query against a uh, power pivot for SharePoint uh, workbook if I really wanted to. So I'll click Next and I get a very familiar kind of connect to a database. And let me just call this Contoso AS as the friendly name. Uh, the server is Lab SQL 1 and I have to remember it's the multidimensional instance which has a name in my environment. And then I only have the one database there now. Test succeeded. Good. I'll click Next. Uh, this time I'll just click Service Account. Uh, generally in a production environment you would want to uh, specify a Windows username and password. But this is fine for now. Now I have an MDX statement. I could type in MDX if I want, but mercifully I can click this Design button and go ahead and just choose what I want. So. Um, just for demonstration, I'm, I'm going to find a couple of these calculations. So the, these calcs are uh, reasonably complex, and I might not want to repeat this by bringing in all of the uh, relational data. So I'm going to just select a couple of measures um, for no particular reason, just to, uh, to grab them. And then I'm going to bring in the date. So now I'll get a list of dates and for each day the inventory days in stock average and the inventory aging average so uh, just some calculated members I'm going to click OK that will give me the MDX for that in case I want that and then let me give that a friendly name and I'll call that inventory analysis services and finish and just like with most of our import processes the wizard uh, pulls the data into the model so that we can begin to look at it and work with it. Um, we could take this date and set up a relationship with our date dimension if we wanted to do that. The beauty of this approach is we can reuse the knowledge and the uh, work that went into developing these calculations and, and then mash them up or combine them with other data sources that we're bringing into the new model. So that's importing analysis services uh, cube data into our tabular model.